Hi everyone, Mossmo here from the Blue Root team. And today I'm gonna to talk about something that we've heard a lot from clients lately. And it's kind of this hidden feature in the CRM that has a lot of value. And if used properly can kind of expand your, uh, your, your business use case. And that's organizational emails inside of Zoho CRM. So that's basically a feature that allows you to send email from an email that isn't a user in your CRM. For example, support at or billing at or something. And the cool part with that is you can also allow many people in your organization to send from that email. So today I'm gonna to walk through how to set that up, where to find it, and some sample use cases that I've seen our business use and others. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. We love hearing from you. We love commenting back. Also just turn on that little bell for notification. Also join our office hours. I host those once a week, YouTube, whoever can come ask me questions. It's a group setting. We can learn from each other and I'd love to meet you. Enjoy the video. All righty. Let's get into it. So I'm in a sample CRM here. We're gonna find this organizational emails in the settings icon, top right. So back here under channels, you'll see a tab called email. Now, organizational email is right here. It used to be in a different spot. And so you can click right here and it'll show you the kind of first step. And you can see here, add the email address of your various departments from which you send and receive customer emails. You can use these addresses as the from and the reply to. And so one of the neat things here is you can share this amongst your users. It doesn't actually have to be a user. So sample use cases we see a lot are, for example, like sales at, support at, billing at, client care at, things like that, that you don't actually want to buy a user for, but Jenna and Michael on your team both want to be able to send from that if they can or if they need to. And so it's a very simple process to set up, and I'll walk you through that. You'll see that not only can you send it from, but also in workflow emails and in just generic emails, you can add that as the reply to. So for example, you could send an email out from user A in the workflow, but tell it to respond or reply to an organizational email. So the use case we actually use as a business is we send the emails from a salesperson and we make the reply to sales at Blue Root. And what that does, it's an organizational email. It actually sends that reply into our Zoho desk so that all of our salespeople can manage everything from one place. We do the same thing for support. So it's a great way to personalize or, or make it look personalized sending out an email to a client. When they respond, you can actually make it come into a group inbox or an organizational email. So if I hit add email address, You'll see here it asks you three things. So display name, make sure you get this right. This is basically what your clients will see when they receive the email. So it'll say, typically people put like customer space care or first name, last name. It'll be in the from line in the email. So we'll say client care. Then you put the email. So I'll just do client care at blueroot.ca. And then you say who's allowed to use this. And so these are actually profiles within your business that are allowed to use this email. And this is specifically inside of like sending an email template. So if you don't choose one of the profiles here, they will not be able to send that template from this email. So you can control who's allowed to use these, which is a, definitely a handy feature. So I'll hit admin and hit create. Now what'll happen is an email will go out to client care at blueroot.ca. It'll send them a little code. You simply click here and put the code here. Hit confirm and you're all good. You're ready to send. And so now what you can do is actually from a contact. So if I go in here and actually hit send email, you can actually hit a drop down here once you verify the email and say send from client care. And so that's a very handy feature. Once you verify the email, you can do that. And anyone, any profile that you chose can also do that. Standard, admin, whatever, right? The other place you can use it is back here when you build a workflow. Email, create a new email, you choose two, client. And then you can actually choose template and the reply to, you'll be able, it'll say my email, other email, user email, and then below that it'll say organizational emails. You can actually say one of those. So again, that's how we use it for the, uh, for our support inbox and our sales inbox. So this allows you to expand your use case of communicating with clients, kind of streamline it into group inboxes without having to buy another user. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. 
Uh, we love hearing from you. I really enjoyed making this video. It's definitely like a little hidden secret within Zoho, and I'd encourage you to use it to expand what you can do. Have a good one.